Okay, so this video we're going to talk about uh, chapter 1006 and my speculation for chapter 1007 and so on. Okay, let's begin. The, with, obviously this video has spoilers, uh, so if you don't have read yet the newest chapter of One Piece, uh, yeah, do not watch this video, wait, and then read, yeah, so on, okay. So the thing here is that if we start in the middle of the chapter, we start with uh, Marco, King and Queen, the best part of the whole chapter when they fight. And we see that Marco uh, really have much on his hand with Queen, Mar Queen and King and he fight and Queen do some kind of blast, he tackle Queen and all this kind of thing. And later on in the chapter, we see that Spiro Spiro have knocked out uh, Carrot and he, her friend. Uh, so he defeat them. Um, but you also have to understand here with Spiro Spiro is Spiro Spiro is using a armament kind of candy that protect him. And if you are a mink and you only thing you can rely on to stay a chance is your moon. You, it's not a good ability because you have to understand if the moon, if the anything distracts the moon, like it's weird, uh, something before, uh, like a cloud or something else that makes it hard for the, uh, the moon to see the moon, that makes it so that the characters always very probably have advantage over carrot because his ability can be used however he can be used it on the day, on the night, every time can he use that, his abilities, his ability. So, yeah, so anyway, so he defeat uh, these two, and so now we have a, now we have a problem, because now we're just going to relate to this next, especially the next chapter, is that we have Sparrow Sparrow, King and Queen, all of these three together against Marco, but then we have Sparrow Sparrow, we have Sanji, we have Yamato, we have Jack, I don't say 100% they will fight each other. We don't know who will fight with who. We have Shopper. So the guy is the best chance against Queen, for example, is Sanji and Shopper. So if Sanji and Shopper work together against Queen, Sanji as the brute force, Shopper as the tacticianer against Queen. For we know that Queen used chemical weapons, and we know that Shopper is the only guy that have his doctor can handle the chemical weapons, so he he Chopper know how to do, have the anti uh, how do you call it the anti anti vaccine against uh, Queen's ice demons. So that is I think is the best chance because Chopper everybody so much uh, underrate Chopper because Chopper is a very little character can be but it. But you have to also understand that even One Piece, sometimes you have to use tactic to win against a strong opponent. You cannot always use force against force to win a fight. This kind of thing. So, Chopper and Sandra will, I think, will fight against Queen together as a team. Because Queen is super strong. You have to be super teamwork or even more, just maybe more character. So, the other thing is is that maybe we have. Chopper, Sanji, and x Drake. All these three get three characters together against Queen. Um, and somebody else have to handle Apu. I, I, I don't know, even know why Apu is back. I don't really understand. We have enough problem already. So I think that is the problem. For, that makes me a bit irritated. Because we have so many characters already on the field. We have, we have Big Mom. We have Kaido, we have Spirit Bear, we have Queen, we have King, we have uh, Sasaki, we have Who's Who, we have Black Maria, we have Pepe, we have Ulti, we have all the characters already on the field, the big the big guys on the field already. So I don't really understand why we have to see... That That is the problem why all that kind of kill off some character is that... I, I, my, one of my favorite characters in One Piece is... Uh, Apu. I have to say that. It's Apu. 
But here he, he here he don't belong. He's dead now. He should be dead and gone because now we we, we have to focus on more more powerful character and we forget to have say Jack. So we have we ho we have already too much character on the field, and it's hurt me to say that. But as I said before, with them with uh, with uh, Apu is that is is too many good character on the field already. Right? We have I think. If Apu should live, he has to escape the island and we have to fight him later on and not here because it's too much, I think, too much character on the field and so on. But anyways, so that is my, my, my speculation, that these two characters together against Queen. Then we have Yamato, and Yamato we know is strong enough to hand fight against Ace. I know some people love Ace and also some people hate Ace, and I don't care about Ace at all. Because it's not int for me, he's not an interesting character. I always watch much more, uh, more like more like Marco in the White Paris crew, Marco and Damien Josu. So this character I much more like and Ace, and Ace. But anyways, the here is that Yamato, I think, can handle uh, Jack. So I mean, Yamato and Jack probably will fight against each other. Um, so then we have, so I think because Jack is probably the weakest of the calamities, he's, uh, he's the weakest of them, but he's still one of the strong, he's still stronger than many of the others, but he's the weakest of the calamities. He's, so I think that is a very good, worthy opponent against uh, Yamato. And Sanji and Us uh, Chopper is, because the only, the reason why Sanji need help against Queen is because of his ice demon, it's his chemical weapon. Sanji is good to fight against opponents that use raw, raw force. He's not good against opponents that have weapons that make it very very hard for Sanji to come close to the, him. Because the only way, any, any way Sanji can do damage against an opponent is if he is in close to the opponent with his leg to kick them. Um, so he and he is not a tacticianer, as for example, not, not many, not the, some of the only tacticianer here is like, I think Shopper, uh, right, the guy with the slang, uh, right, no, Shopper, Nami, uh, as a Shopper, Nami is probably the only tacticianer here in the fight, tacticianer. And there is a reason why, for example, Nami and the other guy, I would try to forget the name of right now, and and the other little girl all together run away from Pepe and Alti because they know they cannot fight them and they, the way they want to fight like, uh, uh, for, force against force. Some character you have to use tactic. And if, for example, if Chopper just use force against Queen, Chopper will die immediately because Queen just gonna kill him with his blast or something else because it, it's stupid. You cannot run for something like it's almost like a okay, maybe this is a stupid comparison, but it's almost like you fight against a rhino, and the only weapon you have in the hand is a uh, is a wooden stick, and you have this is the only weapon you have, and you have to run for the rhino. A rhino must quicken you. They're gonna run over you. This is the same scenario here with Queen, is that Chopper have to have tactic if he ha and he have to help, uh, need help again with help from Sanji against Queen. Because Sanji, probably Queen's gear is from the same company that Sanji was from Sanji's family, the Windsmoke family. So that is just my speculation. This to carry together against Queen, uh, and maybe even extract all the free characters together against Queen, because Queen uh, sh uh, shoot against uh, extract uh, and do all this kind. This free character together. Um, yeah, and I think the chapter was okay. This was some. Uh, as I said before, like the way the Mark went Queen and King, they, they probably were the best part of the chapter. And it's also, also cool to see more about about Sparrow Sparrows because we, we I don't think we have seen so much of his ability. We know that he controls candy, uh, 
scan their ability. The only thing I mean, it was a bit bad with the chapter was that that they jump over um, carrots and her friends battle against Sparrow. That I think was a bit sad. I hope, I hope they don't want to do the same thing with uh, Nico Robin and Black Maria and Brooke. Um, so on. But I hope next chapter or two we will see more about more battle for, for like Jinbei and Hu Su, and obviously more battle from Black Maria and Nico Robin. And yeah, I, I don't know. I think obviously this this also like a up and down. Some chapter is like really really good. Some chapter is n not as good as the chapter before. And uh, some chapter is like. I, I don't think any chapter is really, really bad, but some chapter is a bit boring because they, obviously I'm a bit biased, like sometimes if they're focusing on characters, characters I think it's a bit boring, I think the chapter is a bit boring, um, but for, I, 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 all people think differently with what kind of chapter they like um, and so on, but I think this chapter was okay because I like uh, Marco and I think it's very cool to see that Marco can handle himself so well alone against two calamities. And we know because he was the right hand man of Whitebeard. So he's interesting. But obviously, you have to understand that Marco's uh, Devil Fruit is a super good Devil Fruit. He's a Blue Phoenix. And he's ha ha trained his Devil Fruit so long with his abilities. He's, he's very good with that Devil Fruit. And I think. The only only reason I think you don't Marco have win yet in the battle is because he fights against two calamities and that is like the same one is right hand of Kaido, another one left hand, Queen King and Queen. Uh, and so on. Yeah, and we we just have to wait to see if the next chapter will happen. And yeah, this is probably everything I really want to say in this chapter. And yeah. Okay.